Hello everyone, back to you to today's first video, doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So this is your month head look ahead. We're going to go uh, free rest of June and just into the beginning of July uh, with this update. So you're going to have a look at the uh, JMA model first of all, see what that's showing for uh, the next month, broken down into uh, weekly peers, and then we'll have a look at CFS V2. We'll compare the two and see if we can pick out any trends. So that's what we're doing for the first video today. Uh, later on, we're going to have the... Uh, the next update for uh, Le Mans, for the Piss and Heads community. And uh, we'll also have a regular week's 10-day video update coming up here on the homepage of Gaza uh as well later on. So we're going to start off with the 500 millibar height on the flow charts from the North Pole uh, down. So this is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here. Mid latitudes of Northern Hemisphere are around there. This is the JMA model, of course. These are broken down into weekly pairs. The first weekly pair will take us from the 7th today through to the 14th of June. So the coming week has a strong blocking signal, big area of above average heights around Greenland and also extending to our north and northeast with below average heights over and to the south of the country. So it looks pretty cool and pretty unsettled. We'll be bringing in wind or we will be bringing in wind from kind of like a northeasterly direction and with low pressure uh, in control of the weather pattern, we can expect showers or longer spells of rain. So cool and showery in uh, the week ahead. Then we go through to week two, which takes us from the 14th through to the 21st of uh, June. So still with this northern blocking signal up to our north, still with high pressure out to our north and northwest, below average heights, low pressure sitting to the west southwest of the country. Still looks quite unsettled. The only difference is that we are changing wind direction a bit there and possibly pulling up a rather warmer sort of southwesterly type flow. So I think temperatures would be lifting up, but with the trough of below average height still just to the west of the country, I think it would still be pretty unsettled uh, for most of us. And then we go through to weeks three and four. This takes us from the 21st of June to the 5th of July, still with below average heights in the Atlantic, but we are building up some above average heights just to our south and southeast. The northern blocking signal looks like it's producing a little bit, perhaps going over more towards the Canadian side of the Arctic. So I think we're bringing up quite a warm southerly wind here between the high pressure to our southeast and the low pressure to the west. That could be turning a lot warmer into the second half of June and the beginning of July. But watch out for thunder, I think, with this trough of below average heights in the west. It could all be very, very unstable. And so any push of heat from the south could very quickly uh, start to trigger low pressure to both the west and the south of us and uh, maybe triggering thunder. However, it probably is turning a bit drier and a bit warmer there as we go into the second half of June. Let's have a look at the tropical and mid-latitude view. So for UK and Ireland, in the top right-hand corner of the chart, as you're uh, looking at it there, the North Pole, which we can't see, is off the chart up here. And of course, we was just having a look at that view down. So we know that in the uh, coming week, this taking us from the, 4th, uh, uh, from the 7th to the 14th of June, we know that we've got this blocking signal, which we can see just a little bit of there at the very top of the chart. We know we've got this blocking signal back to Greenland and then up into the North Pole with the below average heights over and to the south of the country and pulling in these northeasterly uh, winds. So it looks pretty cool and pretty unsettled in the week ahead. Temperature anomalies from the 7th to the 14th of June are below average, cooler than average temperature anomalies coming up with the uh, JMA forecast for this week, and also above average precipitation. So it's all looking a bit grim, really, you have to say. Cooler than average temperatures, above average uh, precipitation, cool and wet in the week ahead. Then we go through to week two. And we've got the below average heights then to the west southwest of us. Uh, so still looks quite unsettled, but we are changing the wind direction. Should be pulling in uh, a rather warmer southwesterly wind. The, we see this on the temperature anomaly forecast for week two, taking us from the 14th 
to the 21st of June. Temperatures are going above average here, or returning close to average, and India being a little bit uh, warmer than average. So, definitely increasing temperature there around the middle part of the month. But still unsettled, that area of below average heights in the Atlantic is still throwing in wet weather from off the Atlantic Ocean. So, although the temperature's picking up a bit, it stays on the wetter than average side. And then we're into week three and four. Remember, this could be a bit transitional. It's a two-weekly anomaly, so there could be some transitioning transitioning going on here. Uh, it takes us from the 21st of June to the 5th of July. We have below average heights to our west and above average heights to our east-southeast. Looks unsettled still, or rather unsettled, but probably a lot warmer. I think we could be bringing up the winds from a southerly direction at times with this but if we do if it does turn hot it's likely to be unstable temperature anomalies hint at being above average not substantially so but yes i think we can say this is much more likely to be warmer than average as we head towards the end of june compared to where we're starting off at in june uh, but it's still unsettled, you'll see. Above average precipitation is still there. Could all be rather volatile, I think, that. Could all be thundery, uh, thunderstorms, and maybe even more general areas of thundery rain coming up from the south and from the west as the temperature and humidity and energy available in the atmosphere increases. So it is like rather a wet June now. Um, but uh, after a cool start, becoming warmer, but also potentially becoming quite volatile. Let's see what the uh, CFS makes of things, then, and see if we can pick up any trends there. So uh, these, again, by the triple of our heights, broken down into weekly periods. The first week period is taking us from the 7th to the 13th of June. The coming week has all of this northern blocking. Look at all this high pressure we've got sitting to our north and down into the middle of the Atlantic, too and to our northeast as well, with below average heights over and to the south of the country. So it'd be pulling in wind from a northeasterly direction. It looks cool and unsettled on both models. They're both in agreement that the next week is uh, very unsettled and quite cool too. Now this northern blocking goes on into week two. So this is the 14th to the 20th of June. At this point the JMA is starting to reduce that northern blocking signal to some degree but the CFS really still going to town on that northern blocking centering it over Greenland below average heights to the south and also to the northeast country. It looks like we're still within a trough in the 500 millibar flow there. So if we um, put in where the jet stream is likely to be, I think the jet stream is likely to be doing something like that. So we're still on the cool side of the jet, I think, there. The blocking, non-blocking is strong enough to still be pushing that jet stream to ourselves. And so it's still quite unsettled. Both models in agreement with that. But I think if we, when we look at the temperature anomaly, it's likely to be significantly cooler for week two compared to the recovery in temperature that's taking place in week two with the JMA. Uh, now, this is week three with the CFS V2. It's taking us from the 21st to the 27th of June. Still with some northern blocking, but reducing. So, northern blocking signal is reducing. Some above average heights just starting to get going to our south with low pressure out to west. So, still not sunset, but this would be starting to turn things warmer in week three. The wind would be going into more of a southwesterly direction beginning to see a recovery in the temperature and then that leads us to week four which is the 28th of june to the 4th of july this looks like proper summer with above average heights setting up over and to the east of the country below average heights now being pushed back into the middle of the north atlantic uh you would envisage bringing up a southerly wind there so becoming a lot warmer maybe even hotter maybe a bit of a heat wave to the very end of june and the start of July. Again, might be quite volatile though. There is below average heights in the Atlantic, so it wouldn't take much uh, to start to generate thunder and more general areas of thundery rain from the south and west. But certainly, it does look as though both bars are in agreement that by the end of June, something a lot warmer uh, could be starting to develop.
Temperature anomalies are looking like this uh, week one from the 7th to the 13th of June, significantly below average for the UK and Ireland. We're talking about temperature anomalies around two degrees or more below average. So it's a very, very cool week coming up uh, in the week ahead. Week two is also cool. So at this point, the JMA wants to stage a recovery in the temperature anomaly. But um, the CFS from the 14th to the 20th of June, week two, keeps the temperature anomalies below average so quite cool even into the second half of the month with but CFS and even week three is looking a bit cooler than average as well so it really is a struggle to start to get a recovery in temperatures going miss the 21st to 27th of June if this is right then we're probably looking at a cold of an average month uh, for June it's not until week four which is the 28th of June to the 4th of July not until week four that temperatures finally start to go a little bit above average so starting to uh, get warmer there the very end of June and beginning of July but that's week four it's four weeks away so it's the most unreliable part of all of this and before that, particularly weeks one and two, looking really quite uh, cool indeed. Precipitation, finally, it's FSV2. So uh, this is week one precipitation from the 7th to the 13th of June. But uh, above average rainfall through many parts of the country in week end, particularly focused on England and Wales. So quite a wet and cool week, or potentially very wet and very cool week coming up. Week 2 precipitation is closer to average, so not quite as wet in uh, week 2 from the 14th to 20th of June. Week 3 average to possibly hinting at still being a little bit above average with precipitation even then. And then we go through to week 4. The signal's getting weaker the further out we're going, so now we're just at average precipitation. I would suspect there's a better chance of that being drier as the temperature begins to lift up. But as the temperature lifts up, it might bring on uh, some thunder. So I think we can say pretty definitively that we're starting off cool and unsettled, certainly up to the middle part of the, the month. The CFS wants to keep that cool, relatively unsettled weather going even into the second half of the month. The JMA trying to warm things up a little bit quicker. They both eventually finish up at something that looks quite a lot warmer and drier for the very end of June and the beginning of July. But before we get to that, it does look as though we've got quite a lot of cool and unsettled weather ahead. And it is possible, based on these charts, particularly based on what we see from the CFS, it is possible that this June could be a cooler than average month. Um, so we shall see on that, but certainly looks pretty unsettled, pretty cool, pretty mixed for much of uh, June, possibly signs of uh, summer by the very end of the month, but we shall see about that. Right, so that's it for JMA Friday. We'll do it all over again next week. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what the model is showing. It could all look very different uh, next week. We'll be back later on this afternoon with your week's 10-day video update, including all of the regular features. And we're also going to have that latest update for them on as well. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.